All right, let's take a look at lesson 23 and starting out right in the gate here, for loops 23, for loops with artist. Uh, it starts out with a video. So go ahead and pause and you can watch the video. Okay, let's check out lesson 23, part two, free play, experiment with the for loop and the counter variable draw out a few blocks and see what happens. So as a reminder, your actions um, in the artist, you can move forward, you can go backward, you can um, go forward by a number of pixels, or we can use a for loop and a counter. You can turn um, degrees, and then it looks like you can also use the counter for your degrees. The loops available are the for and the repeat. And remember, if you're gonna use a for loop, you need a repeat loop. Um, so if I drag this out onto my coding window here, this repeat four times should be replaced with the counter. So if I'm gonna use for counter from one to something, uh, repeat counter times. Those two have to go together. So you can just go ahead and play around with it. And I'm going to say 10 pixels just for the fun of it and see what happens. So it just made a line because I didn't turn it all. So your actions that you could do, um, if you turn right, let's say, and let's say if I go 10 degrees, and I'm going to make this run super fast. It's going to go 100 times, which is a little crazy. So go ahead and play around with it, see what else you can draw. Lesson 23, for loops with artists. Use a repeat loop inside of a for loop to create this stack of triangles that goes from 50 pixels to 100 pixel size. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna take out my for loop and I'm gonna take out my repeat block. Now this character, it looks like, is going to need to draw the outside of the triangle and these lines in here. So it says repeat loop inside of a for loop to create the stack of triangles that goes from 50 to 100. So I think it means how they're looking at it is you draw this triangle and then you draw a little bit bigger of a triangle and then you draw a little bit bigger of a triangle and then you draw a little bit bigger of a triangle. So you probably could draw this and then kind of weave your way through. The for loop that they're talking about is saying you have a small triangle that's 50 by 50 by 50 to a big triangle that's 100 by 100 by 100. So pause and see if you can figure it out. As a reminder, when you're making one of these triangles, you're gonna wanna turn by 60 degrees. Well, I misspoke. I meant 60 degrees are in the triangle, but because you're the artist, you actually have to turn 120 degrees in order to be going backwards. So as you can see here, I went forward, I turned left, which means I went this much up 60 degrees when really I needed to go all the way over here to come sort of backwards. So this angle is 60, but I had to turn 120 to get there. So I um, set up my code and I said, okay, the first triangle side is gonna be reset. I don't know why reset's not resetting. Anyway, um, so they said that the triangle starts at 50 pixels and goes to 100. So if I draw one triangle, two triangles, three, four, five, I have to draw six triangles. I'm gonna start at 50 pixels. I'm gonna go to 100 pixels and I'm gonna count by 10 pixels and I'm gonna repeat six times. So if I start at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, that's how I came up with the guess of going 
by 10 pixels, um, even though it didn't say that in the directions. And so I had to draw six triangles. So I'm going to, this is just how I'm doing it, move forward 50 pixels, the counter, and then turn left 120. And then it's going to do that six times. Although I think maybe I only need to do it three times because it's a triangle. So I'm not really sure here. Let's try it. No, the counter goes up. That's what I wanted to do. I only want three sides of a triangle, not six sides of a triangle. I'd be tracing all over top of it. So this is a little bit trickier and they didn't give you um, too many directions. If you need to pause and look at my code to see if you can mimic it, go ahead. All right. I'm going to go back to lesson 23 and move on to part four. Create these triangles that go from 20 pixel sides to 200 pixel sides, where each triangle is 20 pixels larger than the last. Again, I think they're looking at you to go for one triangle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need 10 iterations. It starts at 20 and it goes to 200. So if I go 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. So I would go by 20 pixel increments from 20 to 200, counting by 20. And then if you look back in lesson three, to make the triangle, I moved forward and I turned left 120 degrees. So I'm going to repeat that same process. Actions. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to move forward the counter. That's what I did last time. Oh, I should have just dragged that block over. So, and I also turned left by the count. No, and not by the counter. I turned left by 120 degrees. And I had to repeat that three times because it was a triangle. And a triangle has three sides. And um, out loud, I already talked about using a for loop, starting at 20 pixels for one side and going to 200 pixels and an increment of 20 pixels from the directions they say. All right, so I'm going to click on run. Looks like we're on the right track. I'm going to speed this up. On to lesson five in lesson 23, part five, four loops with artists. These squares start at 15 pixels. The largest is 300 pixels long, and each square is 15 pixels larger than the last. So I'm seeing I start at 15 pixels for a side length. So in my for loop, I'm going to start at 15 and I'm going to go to 300. And it says each square is 15 pixels larger, which means that's my increment or my step value. Um, and then I'm sure you know a square has four sides that are the same size and the angles are right angles, which measure 90 degrees. So if you start out by drawing this tiny little triangle, uh, not triangle, square, tiny little square, and then keep on going bigger and bigger and bigger, why don't you pause this and give it a shot and see if you can come up with the code yourself. Okay, so hopefully you dragged out a for loop and a repeat loop, and the for loop starts at 15, goes to 300, count by 15. A square has four sides, so I'm going to repeat four times. And um, to make a square, I'm going to move forward the number of pixels up here. So 15 I'm going to start with, and then it's going to go up 30, 45. And then in a square, I need to turn 90 degrees, and I'm going to turn left. I think that should do it. So hopefully that's what you did. Lesson 23, section six. Just one little change of the code from the last image can create this drawing. 
Can you figure out what the change is? Hint, you need to move something. Why don't you give it a try and then see what I do? Here's a hint for you. I tried something and made that, which is not correct. So I hope you're having better luck than me. Uh-oh, I tried something else and that didn't work either. I'm getting closer, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. I thought I had it, but I kept going off the screen, so I must have changed something wrong. I hope you're having much better luck. All right, well, I hope that you figured it out. This is where we started. And um, I was getting frustrated, so here's what I did to figure it out. I said, you know what? This is what the character's doing. The character's going 15 forward. And then the character is turning left 90. And then the character is going what looks like 30 forward. And then turning left by 90. So it's going 15, 30, probably 45, 60, 75, 90. So what's happening is they're moving forward and turning, and this is going up by the counter. So instead of repeating it four times, I want it to count up every single time. So I'm just going to um, repeat one time and press run. And that worked. So sometimes what happens if you can't figure it out, it helps to go back and either say it out loud or just write down all the pieces and then see if you can find the pattern. I hope you were um, being successful in what you tried. Lesson 23, four loops with artist. This gets more and more fun. Um, we can change the colors and we can even change the angles a little bit. So you can see that it looks like we start out by making a square and then it doesn't quite go 90 degrees it's a little bit more than 90 degrees and i think that's why it gives us appearance of a spiral square so go ahead and um try that out if you turn a little bit more or less than you normally would for a shape it creates a neat effect so recreate your code for the last level but turn 89 degrees instead of 90 degrees go ahead and give it a try one thing i point i wanted to point out before i moved on um, was the repeat one time. If you're only going to do it one time, you don't even need a repeat block. So you can use a for loop and then just do the move forward and the turn left. Um, so in lesson seven, when you're trying to make this square here, so you just need the four counter from 15 to, I think it was 300, and you're going to count by 15. And uh, the character moved forward counter pixels and the character turned left by 90 but this time we're going to make it 89 and you can just type it in there all right let's uh check it out and notice they already had the set color there for you Ta -da! i hope you're having fun i'm going to do one more together that is lesson 23 uh lesson eight and then i'm going to leave you to it so this time it looks like the character is turning right instead of left, and you can see that there are almost squares, and it gives this kind of shadowy effect, which looks pretty cool. So there's three small changes to the code from the last level. So I'm going to say turn right, and to me, um, I don't know if it's 89 or if it's 91. So I'm just going to give it a try and see what happens here. <laughs> Yeah, so it's almost like it's going the wrong direction. So I'm going to make this 91 and see what happens. No. Maybe it's 89 and maybe it's counting less. It looks like it's going the right direction. but it's not tracing where it should be. All right, so what I found was I played around with this number here, the increment, to try to make it match up. And um, 
it looked like two was about right. So my degrees were 89 and my count by two. This looks, I can see the corners like lining up perfectly. But it just doesn't look quite right. And it says try a block. Try using a block you aren't using yet. So my line is really thick. And in the original, it looks kind of fine and delicate. So I'm going to look at the brushes. And I'm not sure what set alpha does. But it does look like the width of my line maybe is too thick. I don't know what thickness I should have. So I'm going to try one. And it looks about right. So I hope you had fun. And... By all means, you're more than welcome to keep going, but I'm going to stop the tutorial here. Great work.